What's in the box? Oh, you got your watch in the box, Harry. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? I wear the boss has climbed the boss. Boss has fun the boss. Can't afford Dior. <laughs> <laughs> Mainstream will do. Mm -hmm. What are you wear? What are you rocking, Sue? No man, then I'll do an unboxing now, man. Then you rocking out the shoes. Yeah. Grand reveal this. What is this? Head bigger. This is how people send watches, bro. Wow. <laughs> this is what they call a London watch show. Showstopper. Wow. <laughs> Billy, that's your rock for the weekend, son. <laughs> <laughs> So what, this is an old, old uh, day chest? And fossil. <laughs> Plastic glass. Air King D. God, no, I've never seen one of them before, ever. You want to wrap that this weekend, Harry? Oh, that looks perfect for me, perfect. I don't know how it you, that, Harry. <laughs> suit them, them yellow shoes, they're going well, they're going well. Well, we're gone. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> When did you fancy one of these? For a while or? For ages. Yeah. So that's. But that's helped me get it, really. Yeah, I need to change the invoice because I invoiced you for the other one that we have, but I realise it's scratched. Right. And I've told you no more, so you've actually got a fully stickered one. Is it full sticker? Yeah, full sticker. So there was two on the website. I knew one was stickered. Yeah. But I sold you the other one without stickers, but that I'll okay. just change the invoice so you see one of my matches. It's no stress, but you're getting a fully stickered watch. You can tell it's ever so, diff ever so slightly different, can't you, the rolls? Yeah, so just the same 2019 box papers, everything. Is that what it is, 2019? Or yeah. More? It's rare, very rare to find fully sticker watches. Is it? You probably know that yourself. Like when you got this, I'm guessing the put well they did. Probably pull all the stickers yeah. off. Yeah. I'm guessing you're going to wear it though. It doesn't make a massive difference. No, I'm definitely going to wear so it. It's always nice to have the stickers though, so you know no one else has worn yeah. the watch. You know, well, right? that's, that's the thing, that's what I wanted really. Yeah, brand brand new. It's never been on a wrist. It's only been in our display case. So that's full links. Is that on the side of this like that? It's not got the same as the sub, but I'll show you what it's got. It's got a tiny one, so it's just very slightly so fully extended yeah. out. Yeah, push it in and up, click. Ah, right, okay. So it should be perfect now. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Then if your arm swells up in the heat or anything or the sun, yeah. you know you can just pull just it down pull and it. it just it's fully extended. So there's like a couple of positions on it or something. Yeah. So or you can obviously you can ah you can move it up again there, can yeah. you? Yeah. It's just not like the submarine glide like that at all. Are you a City fan or Man United? United, United. Yeah. United. We're the richest now, eh? <laughs> I know. Yeah. I've just, we've just now. been driving around trying to find some wet park and yeah. that radio then. It's it's absolutely crazy last night. About like 20,000 fans went to the stadium and that just looked like a match day. The customer came in, he had a Datus 41 blue diamond dial. He wanted to part exit for something different. He got a root beer two tone. In today's market, that watch is probably worth 17 grand, 16, 250 in the trade. So I literally couldn't even replace that watch in the trade for that money. Mm -hmm. It's now a 16, 750 to 17,000 pound watch. Yeah, I couldn't make my mind up on it, but I've wanted one. I've actually got one of these in order from Goldsmith. Really? I've got this in a Batman in order. Well, if you get one from the Goldsmiths, you can just sell that one back to us or. It's going to It's going to It's already. But a lot of people do, so. If, if you think obviously you know what market price is like compared to retail, if you want the watch now, get the watch now. If you're going to get it from the goldsmiths or whatever, you can just sell that one or sell your yeah. one. You just fill that in there. That's just our balance sheet for your watch at all. Just up here. Nice watch on the blue dial though. We have quite a lot of uh, black dials. We'll never have a blue one for a little while. But I prefer the blue. Happy with it though, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Rose is nice. It's the best rose gold watch you can get really. For the money as well without spending crazy money. Are they going like, mad? Are they people going mad for them? Yeah, crazy. Like new, like that was too cheap. Like I seen one trade yesterday for sixteen two fifty. That's a trade. So it's like seventeen grand watch now. I <coughs> noticed that Pepsi has gone up, haven't they? Yeah, Pepsi's have gone up. Hulks, Hulks are doing good money. Starbucks, everything really. You just can't get any new stock, that's the only thing. So it's making the prices increase yeah. only. Like, what yacht masters have you got these for? Uh two or yacht master forty. Uh, just blue dial. Just blue. Which one do you want? The audio number? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's really fine. Sold by GMT. GMT? Yeah. I don't know how much I'm sold that. Good watch. Yeah. Creeping up like a little bit now as well. Told him not to sell it. Yeah, how much did you sell it for? I sold it two years ago, right and a half. I just watched it that. now. I've probably only had it 12 months. Yeah. But when I like, bought it for six, six, yeah. two, six, three, and you thought made three. They were like anywhere from like. You had one of these as well. She brought one of these, I think, when she bought it. 
Just getting out there. Yeah, I don't know, aren't they? Yeah. It's a lovely watch the blue light. Everyone wants the rhodium, but I think the blue light is a bit of a sleeper. Yeah, it's yeah. nice one. Because everyone just goes for the rhodium and ignores that. But I that think that's nice probably a better watch. watch. Yeah. Well, this is what I originally messaged you about, isn't it? Yeah, that's what you wanted. Put them in the sauce. Just go all yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, the Yacht Master says one can be 11 and a half, 2020. Like rhodium, like pushing like 12 and a half grand now for new. Can you see him dropping or not? No. This is, there's no supply of anything. Oh, oh. GG GMC black face one. I think that's 2019 or 2018, that's like 12 grand. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. Anywhere from 10 to 12, 18, age 18, dependent. Yeah. 18, I can't remember. You got it a couple of years after <coughs> I got that, yeah. that, that blue one. Should we take stickers off first? Yeah, we as well. Doing that Anthony Farrow. D sticker in the watch. <laughs> I'm just gonna put all like. Well, I'll let you do it. I'm gonna put all like see him. horror screams over it and stuff yeah. in the edit. <laughs> Everyone gets sick of their life. I've never even d stickered one. The worst one that we done was. Um, a customer that got the 5990, I don't know if you know about the text, yeah. the 5990 brand new rose gold blue face, and he it was it was sealed, like physically sealed, never opened or anything, so it's like, it's it's like say really like pro- it was probably like 20, 30 gram more than what it would be without the seal. He said, I want to wear it, can you take the seal out for us? Can you take it out the seal? I was like, I'm better off selling you one, I'm better off selling yeah. you one without the seal for... 20, 30 grand less and you doing this, do you know what I mean? And we put it on the Instagram and it just went absolutely crazy. Everyone was like, what the hell are you yeah, doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah. Fully de-sticker in. Yeah. I'll keep that one on for you because that doesn't yeah, really okay. need to come off it says fresh, but... Is that the one in the middle? Yeah, no, no, underneath the clasp. Yeah. So you never even see it anyway, but yeah, so. you may as well keep that one on. No, there's a sticker there as well, but I'll leave it on. Was on the crown. You, you always seem to find them like yeah, you find them. You always be little ones. You'll find them in a week. <laughs> you, you see it looking at it after a week. Well, I d- when you said the other day, because you never said there were one like stickers on. Mhm. So that's literally someone's just bought it for it. Yeah, so. put it in the safe. Then we bought we bought like a couple of watches off the person. You got a little. Yeah, just put it on there. So. Alright, let's just settle this up. Yeah. Do you want to just pay a card? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the business. Enjoy right, the new no worries. Thanks right. very much. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. See nice you later. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice nice meet you. Nice 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 you. Just give me a shout. Yeah. Thanks very much. See you later. See you later. Hi, so I've got your watch, uh, I know I emailed you saying I need to locate one, but I've gone on it straight away for you, and I've located one. So okay. so it's 2021 brand new box and papers, and it's 7,000. 7,000, yeah. right, okay, okay, that's perfect. When will you be um, in possession of it? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. If, if, you, if you'd like to go ahead, I can send you pictures now, it's with another with another dealer, of a friend of ours, so I'll... Yeah, t- you I- can send it. Send me the pictures via email, um, and I'll give you a wee bring back. What time do you close it? Is it five? Yeah, five. But I'm I'm on the email all day, so it's alright. Okay, okay, that's perfect. But you can just pop them in an email to me then, Josh, um, and I'll get back to you before five o'clock tonight. Perfect, okay. perfect. No problem at all. Speak to you then. Alright, thanks. Bye bye. Bye. That's an Air King request that came in this morning. No, it came in about a month ago. It was oh, for really? their son's birthday. Right. And obviously. They didn't need it until like now, which is three weeks later. So mm. I've just got the watch and should hopefully take it next week for the birthday. So Harry, I've been called in this morning to watch Trader. John and I, over the last couple of weeks, have been talking about a client's vintage Rolex 1655, okay. which is a Rolex Explorer. So when we've got unusual or vintage watches like this, it's a little bit different to your everyday um modern rolex so a ups box has gone out to the client Mm -hmm. it's been collected insured covered by uh watch trader so i'm quite excited for that load up because as you well know me being the old boy on the firm i quite like the old watches not that i've specifically put it on but i've also put something on very rare and very unusual which we'll have a look at after we've done this, which I'm wearing a Rolex Oyster yeah. Quartz, oh, which good. is the, the only ever battery powered Rolex. I was gonna say, that's made from the 70s. From the 1970s. It was like um, you're in a vintage. Vintage. <laughs> what happened with these watches, um, as technology and the Japanese started putting batteries into watches, Rolex decided, well, we'll, we'll make a battery watch. It wasn't a massive success. Yeah. But anything that wasn't a success, 
now becomes rare and anything that becomes rare goes up in value. Yeah, so it's kind of like a Gerald Genta-esque yeah. design, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well the bracelet is the exact same bracelet as a, an AP. So it's Gerald Genta designed them both. Oh, he actually designed yeah. for Rolex? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's why people go, oh, you're wearing an AP. Yeah, yeah. Flip it over. Bracelet. They do it in an old steel. They do it in a steel and rose. They do it in an 18 carat. Um, the 18 carat was more common yeah. um, because of its price. The steel ones seem to come up every now and then and over the last few years as everything they've doubled in value. So how much would you say that watch would go for these days? Uh, retail, it probably would have been £1,600 new. Right. That'll hit five grand. I've been looking for a client. I've been looking for a, a, a higher Monaco, so pre-tag. Yeah. The, the modern Monaco, we had a one at the show. We did, yeah. Um, got a guy looking for a vintage one. He's been offered a new old stock, NOS, um, from a dealer in Switzerland. So everything as it was delivered, out of packaging, inner packaging, uh, you didn't get swing tags then, yeah. but everything that comes Probably with it, um, that watch should be between eight and 12 grand, depending on condition, it's probably going to be 25 grand. But if it's kept like that, mm -hmm. it's it's going to go up in value. It's going to be, it's going to be a good asset. Definitely. But again, if something is brand new and then it's worn, it just becomes the same as every other watch. Yeah. But let's, like you say, have let's, one, let's have a look at these. Right, so the first thing I can see is that is the correct age-related box for what I think um, is the 1655. Um, it's got 1500 on the box. So it's an age-related box, but it isn't the original box. Now, that could be a customer oversight. That could be a shop oversight. I've just bought a 1980s day date which has got the watch and paperwork the box has the sticker on with the right paperwork everything is correct apart from the serial number the year right. so i believe that that could have been done in store mm -hmm. so if you can imagine 25 years ago um you've got three watches out on the cabinet the yeah. customer decides i shall have that one the store assistant has boxed it up, gone like that, and sold them that watch. So I have a, one of these watches. Believe it or not, it's the first ever Rolex that I ever bought in 1988. I worked in a clothes shop in Newcastle. You buy it for your 50th? I bought it for my 50th, <laughs> yeah. So in 1988, I got 90 pounds a week wages. Nice. And I've walked past ng1 which is the main northern goldsmith store and it's in the window uh, second hand no box and papers watch only 450 pounds i had 400 pound or i thought i had 400 pound in the bank i went in sent to the guy that still works for northern goldsmith to the day been a long-term friend of mine and i said would you take 400 quid he went away spoke to the manager and he said yes so I gave him a £10 deposit yeah. and I scurried away to the bank, put my card in and yes, they did have cards, not chalkboards or anything <laughs> like that. Um, and I only had 287, not uh, sorry, 387, not 397 and I was £10 short. I had to go back to work and borrow £10 out of the till. Right. Um, I put it back <laughs> after a couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, th this is obviously sort of very, very um, close to me heart. The watch that I bought in 1988 was nowhere near the condition of that. So that's something you can do so, to test the bracelet yeah. stretch, isn't it? So what I've done is straight away done that. I've shown you, obviously I'm feeling the watch, the side of that case is like brand new. Crisp. So that shows you that it hasn't been on somebody's wrist and rubbed for a long period of time. Um, I've seen watches 
uh, six months old in worse condition than this. So everything up to now it's looking good. is looking good. Blank paperwork, six million serial number. Um, I'm not that good. I can't tell you off the top of my head what six I million is. You. So, but I think that's going to be late, late seventies. The original one, the Mark One, had no bubble in the second hand, so it was a straight second hand. Uh, so this, I think, is going to be sort of 77, 78, 1979. So, uh, 1979 manufacture, it's got the dealer's name on the paperwork, no customer name and no date. Mm -hmm. Now, certain people would think, oh, um, but to me, that is just part and parcel because in 1979, 1980, when this watch would have been sold, you know, it's not like today. When they first brought the Kermit out, mm -hmm. I went to a shop and they had three in the window and I was off a discount on them. Uh, didn't buy them because nobody wanted them. Uh, so that's all good. There's another massive feature to show that it hasn't been worn very much, is yeah. it has... It's the remnants of its Rolex sticker on the back. That would have been green and it would have had 1655 on, which is the model reference. You can also see that um, the crown on the clasp is pretty sharp, isn't yeah, it? It hasn't yeah. really been... The watch has been worn, mm -hmm. but the watch has been very, very lightly worn. I'll obviously take the back off. I'll make sure that there's... The main thing is that there's no water, no moisture yeah. being in the watch. Once I've seen that, I'll then make sure that it's the correct movement for the watch. On experience, the customer will want to know everything about this watch. One of the things that is evident is the patina on the dial. So this would have been whiter and just with natural sunlight, it's aged, which patina is everything. So. You can say, well, it's worn, but you can say it's got patina. Yeah, I mean, if a lot it, of the modern watches now, they're faking patina, aren't they? Because it's yeah. a popular look. Patina is a thing that's come into antiques, come into watches, come into jewellery. It's even coming into cars now. Well, where patina, it, patina is just age. You would say if a piece of furniture had a nice patina, it would mean that the wood has the wood's gone a nice colour in yeah, time. It's dark and yeah. And, yeah. So. Um, the hands are perfect, mm -hmm. and what they have some to be original. I would, I would say that everything about this watch is original. Maybe. The hand, just like me, the orange hand sometimes fades yeah. and goes lime green. So the the face goes patinaed, the orange hand goes lime green, and it gets nicknamed an albino. Right. albino albino which means that it's mono it's got one tone yeah. so it's aged and the orange now there's it, it's people say well why is one hand stayed orange and another one there's no explanation but that watch will stay the way that it is you don't refurb these no. watches unless the end user specifies it but just quickly touch on that watch that we had a while ago that that was meant to be the vintage watch, yeah. and it turned out an excellent replica of so, a vintage watch. It had papers, it had everything with it, didn't it? had you? everything with it. So exactly what we've just done, and I got the watch in my hand, and I'd said to Jack, this is too good to be true. Yes. Those were my exact words. Now that watch is, I would say, I'm 99.9% .9 right. Mm -hmm. Something about this vintage sea dweller, it was too good. So this watch is a vintage red writing sea dweller, which again was a £1,500 watch in the day. It's now a £20,000 watch. They are available in Italy with original bracelets, a fake case, but an original Rolex Air King movement that's been modified right. to be right. Right, so right. they've changed parts. So they've made a Franken watch, basically. Yeah, and well, then well, they've put a dial in. The average watch dealer 
would it's very specialist knowledge that, isn't it yeah the average watch dealer would would think more of wow this watch is the, the real deal and it would take the mind off looking into it because the they'd be so overwhelmed with the actual watch itself yeah and they, w- they would just take it half on face value with so, other dealers. being sometimes we have to be detectives in the watch game and i had this conversation with another dealer there was paperwork in there and the paperwork, when I started reading it, alerted me to be something I think not it was from right. The store from Hampton, yeah, it was a, a company, um, and the, the name of them will come to me in a moment. So, anyway, what the guy had done is there was one address on the paperwork and one address on his, on his packaging. So, the watch had been sent from Birmingham, and his address was London. So again, that's a little bit of a thing. So I, I, I ran the dealer and explained who I was, and he went, just wait there, I need to get this up. I could hear him typing, he went, I know exactly what you're talking about. He says, yeah, we got the watch. We did a report saying what was original, what wasn't original. The guy had doctored their report, so cut and pasted it, yeah. and to say that the watch had been authenticated by them and that they were prepared to give £23,000. He wanted then us to improve on the twenty-three. The guy said to me, I said, well, look, put a thing on your system. We've got it on our system. Um, Just a long-term scam, really, wasn't it? A long-term scam. The watches are Mm £6,000 to buy in Italy. These are watchmakers producing these watches so people that have been in the business for 20 30 years but like myself um who have who have decided that that's what they're going to do yeah um uh, and that's enough that's all you can say about it because you know w- when we challenged the guy or didn't challenge the guy um his money um and the fact that when we asked to send it back there was a third address came into play. So what he was doing was covering his tracks a little bit. So second box on the unveiling today is a Tudor on inspection. It's a reduced size Tudor, which is always referred to in the trade or the trade of my age as a a baby submariner. What do you mean by reduced size? Is it? So it's slightly smaller than a normal sub. Yeah, yeah. When I saw the Tudor box, Jack sent me a picture yesterday of a friend's watch. And can you believe I haven't seen one of these watches for five, six years? And it's the identical watch, but with the correct bezel on. So with this, would you say these box, the box and the watch match? Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. I mean, so here's the, the, the classic. So this watch has got a little bit of stretch in it. These are hollow centre links. The very first ones were riveted. The riveted ones are the ones that's a nightmare where you can't, it's very hard to change the Very links, hard to it? change the links. Rolex did it with the yellow gold ladies. So them. this is a, the Explorer that we've just looked at. One of the big things with that is it's a plexiglass. So it's a pre-sapphire crystal. This one is a sapphire crystal. Now Rolex, changed from um, plexiglass to sapphire crystal in 1986 so this is going to be again comparative age was that across the board of the whole lineup well yeah it was across the board but there was again watches that stayed in so you find the the gold ones you might find a one that or as we've just looked at paperwork that paperwork was blank Mm -hmm. now 10 years ago somebody might have thought oh i'll write the the age of that watching mm-hmm. if there was a receipt paperwork if it's blank leave it blank um i have this with modern watches um it's very rare that you get blank paperwork now mm-hmm. because obviously ads are so stringent but again that's another story well there's no you don't even see a, a name on on the cards these days they're registered digitally aren't yeah they? so wow so there we go so This is dated December 1991, so I'm sure that um, I can tell by the prefix on this one, uh, it's a T-serial number, so that will be uh, 1990... Do you want us to check for you? Yeah, go on. T, did you say? 
1996. Right, no, sorry, it's a B, B series. Now this on the paperwork has got Turnal, which is a, a Swiss company. They used to be in London. They're in uh, big cities like Paris, Geneva. Um, so that's London. an authorised dealer? Yeah, that's Virginia. an authorised dealer. Yeah. So again, swing tag, all good. When How you're much looking do you think at, this would have been at purchase price? Back uh, in, in 1991, probably about 450 quid. Really? Maybe as much as 600. From my limited knowledge, I know that Rolex and Tudor for a time shared a lot of parts, didn't they? Yeah. I don't. I, I so think this is probably what, from a period yeah, after that. Though, what right? it's what you'll find is that that bracelet yeah. has got Tudor stamped on it, mm-hmm. but for a long time um, you would buy a Tudor and it would have a Rolex crest on the bracelet. Right. So it's just. I've heard it, they even had like Rolex crowns. Yes, yeah, Rolex on crowns. Them. Well, yeah. that one has got. If you zoom in, that has got a Rolex crown. So it does. Um, you will find obviously the whole ethos I mean this watch is super super sharp as well it's been worn more than the Explorer Yeah, that's obviously got Tudor running through it a common thing would be to have a Tudor clasp and have Rolex running through there I I don't know the ethos of the company I don't know whether they had a store of parts or if they ran out of Tudor parts they use Rolex ones because they're all they're identical yeah. once you'd worked on Tudor for a limited period of time mm-hmm. as in an apprentice you then could move on to Rolex right from the press recently <clears throat> I think we could do with a few more from Tudor jumping on the Rolex bandwagon <laughs> and get a few more <laughs> watches manufactured so we can get them and sell them it looks like 38 and I or would say 37 38, 38 right, mil right. So that's slightly smaller than like a Tudor Black Bay yeah. 58, which is yeah, yeah. kind of modern. But this was marketed as a gents wristwatch. Every one of my friends that left school and went to work offshore or went to work in an industry had a submariner. Yeah. For a long time, £1,610 was the price of a submariner. So all of my friends... We were buying Golf GTIs for three grand. Yeah. So a uh, Mark One Golf GTI was three thousand pounds. So spending sixteen hundred and ten pound on a watch was an awful lot of money. Yeah. So, um, the equivalent now, when the young lads pull up here in a CLA Mercedes because they can get insured for them, the thirty thousand pound. So the twenty one, they've got a thirty thousand pound Mercedes. And they're wearing a twelve thousand pound Batman, Batgirl, Hulk. It's the same. It's the same. If you look at it, weighed up like that. Yeah, yeah. But for my era, sixteen hundred and t- that that road that Submariner was sixteen hundred and ten pound, and then it went up to something like eighteen sixty, and then nineteen ten. But the price increases were over years. Whereas so, now the CP is very regular. Whereas the you know I've seen Rolex do two price increases in a year mm-hmm. um, but because the, the older Submariners from Rolex like I think I've just been to see James Bond recently and I think the original like Bond Submariner that was like 37 mil yeah. or something like yeah. that With so they were the original than one than had no crown guard crown guard sorry, so yeah, it just yeah. uh, these are uh, all and what do you think what are these worth you know, um, retail wise today in the market I think a few uh, months for five yeah yeah um, I can still tell you what it's worth. <laughs> and still tell you what I'd like to pay for it today. Uh, I think retail um, around about the four thousand pound mark. Um, but what you've got to appreciate is with classic cars, with vintage watches, it's not what it's worth. It's what somebody is it's prepared to pay. I sell a lot of watches to people that regret selling them. So you could have somebody that bought one of those watches in the in the nineties, late eighties, early nineties, regretted selling it, has a few quid and they want it back. So um, exactly. Before we finish, because it's it's prevalent, um, obviously Jack knows what I like. That that little long jeans is a customer repair, possibly a new sell required, but 
I've just been put in front of me probably one of my favourite brands and possibly one of my favourite watches. I uh, just come into stock today is a polar opposite watch from what we've been looking at as in vintage polar opposite of the Batman, the Hulk, the modern AP is a rose gold 42 mil uh, Cartier Ballon Bleu a watch that I really really rate you know I have customers that have it in steel small size steel large size um, this is probably the top end of the marketplace still can be bought today retail probably close to thirty thousand pounds 28 something springs to mind the watch is still brand new sticker tags i would think that this watch would retail circa 23 24 grand I would say coming up to Christmas, I couldn't imagine having a better watch in stock. My other half has worn that size. I've worn that size. Rose gold, um, you're looking at half the price of a, a rose gold day date. Keep an eye you're on not, for you're that. You're not getting anywhere near half the watch, are you? I mean, it's no. I, tell you I mean, the mad thing though, Rolex goes way over this. And you're on about a rose gold watch, lovely card here. Yeah. List. Um, I. Uh, have this conversation and if you've watched the YouTube down at the London show I had the conversation with people one of the nicest guys that I met on the day was the three gents in suited and booted that bought the shoe yeah I'd love to know if you want to come in and tell us what business that you have in London because I never got an opportunity this I said to them that the Tudor is the thinking man's Rolex if if I'm I'm travelling at the weekend and if I'm sitting in a hot in a hotel lobby or I'm sitting in an airport lounge and I look over and the guy's got a Tudor on, I think that's your travel watch. You don't want to be wearing whatever it is to go on holiday, so that's your holiday watch. And I would like to know what's your other watches. Again, somebody sitting in a in a cocktail bar in the south of France or in Marbella wearing that, that's it. That's a watch connoisseur. Yeah. That's you, somebody you, you that, really that doesn't. That's somebody not has. the person that feels the need to um, keep up with the Joneses, buy the AP, buy the Patek. I mean, what's the equivalent Patek a rose gold Patek is going to cost you? One hundred and fifty thousand um, pounds. I'm a Cartier fan, and I just think that is the epitome yeah. of classic. Yeah. That's new. Yeah. Yeah, 2002. <laughs> yeah. How much was that when you bought it? Just out of curiosity, it doesn't affect it. Uh, do you know, probably f four and a half, but yeah. I'm not certain. Is that what that sound about right? Something like that, maybe it's four, four and a half, yeah. We'd allow you five grand in a part X. Right, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely take the watch. Um, I'll get you the box and paper. I was going to try the. Going to try the link. I'm not sure where. Give me a look. This is brand new. This has never ever been worn, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is it. But has it been serviced though? No, because it's brand new. It's been in a safe. It's never been. Right. It's never just born and been. It's never ever been on a wrist. It's just been in somebody's collection. Has a stickers on there. You see. It's a great dial that. I just kept coming back to it to be honest. The, the, I think the dial's like, to buy the dial alone, we bought a dial alone and we give three and a half grand just for the dial. The I, was, I was speaking to my mates bought a few watches off you recently. Uh, I'll tell you the difference, Rolex. So that's mother of pearl and then yeah. it's got the Arabic numbers. That's beautiful. And, and what's the watch that you bought exchanging? A little yacht master, 35 mil. He bought a new in uh, 2002 from the Metro Centre. <laughs> actually, fully discontinued. They don't do a mop dial anymore. Right. It's fully discontinued, right. that actual dial. So your watch again, your watch again as it was a collector's watch just in the safe. Mm -hmm. Does have everything the well, same. How, is this, how old is it? Is it 10? It's a 2000, yeah. 
2010, but it has everything, your swing tags, your bezel protector, your Rolex tag, so it's actually full set, that virtually the same watch, same as the way your watch is. Yeah. Not many people keep them together like this, or yeah. like yourselves, and yeah. lose the tags. Yeah. But it does make a little bit of a difference in the future to keep everything that really comes with your watch. Right. Excellent. So that's yours, I'll get you a box and I'll get your invoice done. Are we to pay this just straight off my card or will it be bank transfer? Card or bank transfer, whatever's easiest for you. Do you have much of a collection or is it? No, no, just, no. Has this been your, your daily watch and then you. It's been my daily watch for obviously nearly 20 years now, so yeah. Well, time for a change. Uh, to be fair, we've got a bit of a dividend at work, so. It's not, yeah, a, bad, not a bad upgrade. And if we will, we've allowed you five on yours. If we were buying that, we'd give you four. So we can't knock anything off that, but we'll give you five right, for yours. Fine. Yeah, that's okay. So for example, we might blow a little bit on yours because we took top money for ours. Yeah. I'll try and get five back for it. So yeah, no problem. We'll give you a fair price for yeah, yours at five. Thank you. So did you first see this watch uh, posted on watch traders socials or something like that? Or is it one that you've had your eye on for I've a while? I've actually had my eye on it for a while, to be honest. Um, yeah. I was talking between that and the Sky Dweller, and I've been looking. I've I've done my homework, you know what I mean. So I've just and then kept coming back, kept coming back to this one. To be fair, and last last night, well, two time, I thought, right, I'm going for it. I went with made up actually deals. He's bought a few watches off of Josh, I think. You know what? Yeah, you yeah, know Anthony. Anthony. Yeah. yeah. How do you know him? Just from yeah, I don't know, but he's a good customer of ours. So yeah, he just rang me up when I was on the way up because I told him I was coming between ten and eleven. I said, Have you got it? I went. Oh, I'm on my way. All right then. Thanks a lot now. I know what this one is, so this is a 41 mil buy metal stuff. Let's have a look. Clean watch. Brand new. 41 mil buy metal sub. What's that? Just a watch head scare? 36 now, Hello. Hi. Hi, is it, is it Manch? Yes, that's me. Hiya Manch, how are you doing? It's Stuart calling from Watch Trader. Oh, how are you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Um, I see that you've actually just proceeded and you've made the purchase via our website. I have, yes. No, no problem, so I was just yeah. conf confirming everything with you and, and when you want me to send you the watch, when you want to take delivery of it. I thought we could get it tomorrow, that'd be... That'd be okay. That's no problem, yeah. I can have a special delivery post signed for, so you'll have it pre-noon tomorrow. Yep, perfect. Yeah, thanks for the transaction and for the business. Anything else, just let me know. Yeah, no problem. Been watching you guys on YouTube for quite a while, so I thought, yeah, definitely want to get a watch from you guys. Brilliant, well, I appreciate it. Could I get some uh, links taken out or get it to sight beforehand? Would yeah. that be okay? Or? Uh, yes, of course, no problem. Um, I can do it prior. Do you, do you know your wrist size or...? Yeah, so it's about 19 to 20 centimetres. Okay, no problem. I'll have that done. So I'll have the links removed. and um, The links will be in the box with the, along with the, the paperwork and um, your invoice. Yep, no problem. That's perfect. Okay, mate. Take care. Thank you. All right, cheers. Thanks. Cheers now. Bye. So another new addition. GMT Master 2 Batgirl. Just bought it from a couple that came up from Derby. Uh, 2021. 2020 watch. Box and papers. Full set. This will be online from Monday. Won't be around long. Won't be around long. It's our last one in, well, our only one in stock. Our last one lasted two days. So probably by the time you're watching this, this one will be gone, but we can always obviously locate your number one whenever you want. Do you and know how much that'll be up for? This will be up for 15,000. Hot watch, Complete hot watch. Set. Very hot watch. So that back is actually already sold as you're watching this, but we are looking to buy. So if you are selling, we're the best buyers in the UK for the watches, so give us a shout and we'll give you a quote the same day and usually the payment the same day as well. <laughs> right then lads, let's go. Let's have it. So, oh, market update, the tech. So the most requested is probably Aquanaut and obviously Note this is, so 5712 blue is what I've found to be highly requested and also 5711 blue. Is that because the 5712 is quite good value compared to the 5711. Yeah, so the 5711 blue is now reaching anywhere from like 80 to 90k, whereas with the 5712 is just a little bit less, isn't it? So I think it's quite a good substitute and you get a lot for your money. Obviously, with it being a moon phase watch, 5711 only just having the days, it's 
very yeah, clean similar. compared. Yeah, you're getting a similar look, but you're getting a little bit more in terms of movement and function. So most people ask for like the high demand pieces. It's mainly the Aquanauts and the, the Nautiluses, but we're getting a lot more people looking to either buy and sell the complications, the grand complications, you know, for the bigger watches. Money-wise, you know, compared to maybe something like Richard Mill, they seem to be quite stable in the market. The prices are increasing uh, month on month and they, they don't fluctuate so much. But I'm also finding a lot of clients now are trading up. So we'll have guys who have a collection, maybe bought a collection of Rolexes from us, or maybe they've had a chance to buy a few Rolexes direct from the AD, and maybe they're using that uplift to, to get themselves into an Nautilus or, or an Aquanaut, and you know, a little bit of a bigger hitter statement watch. How I see it with, with things like Patek, it's normally the case of what's in the actual market. That's where you normally see the increase. So for whatever reason, some watch might become scarce and not so many available for us to buy or potentially buy from other dealers or have in stock. Then when you get to that situation, I think it's, it all comes down to availability. You know, for example, if there's, if there's 10 of them to buy in the market, the price is going to be fixed. If there's one, for whatever reason, the price is, you know, that man can charge for whatever he wants yeah. for that watch. But it, I think it's mainly just down to availability. In particular, well, I don't know if, you ha if you're talking about market price or retail price. If you go on retail price, you've got the 5990 rose gold, right. which I don't know, does it retail for 70 to 80 K? And that watch is worth ballpark 300. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for, for that watch there, if compared to retail, so we're talking about price, the spread. Between yeah, the spread's and massive. Well, the biggest yeah. spread is obviously the 5711 Green, which retails for around 30 to 40K, and that obviously sells 300 to 400,000. I don't even think so. I think, I think it's actually 27K. Yeah, I think it's a little bit less. So, if you look at that retail compared to market price, it's crazy. But if you mean in terms of yeah, so things were in the actual you know, market the price. Market price. Talk, yeah, if, you, so. if you're talking a uh, recent increase in market price, one of the notices which has increased, say within the last two to three months, is probably the Steel 5712. Mm. And that has ju jumped That's up, okay. you know, maybe ballpark 10K. If they undecided between the 5711, which is a plain discontinued blue dial, it's a beautiful watch, but in a lot of people's eyes, you're getting more watch for the money with the 5712 and that potentially drove the price up. It is still available in the market, so it can be bought still brand new, where the 5711 can't be. And you also have things like the, the 5980, so where they've recently changed the clasp from the old clasp to the butterfly clasp. So this is the old clasp. And you're probably talking spread of around 20K on a full rose gold 5980 between the old and the new. And um, potentially just because of the, the difference in the clasp. Aquanauts, okay. Aquanauts as well, Aquanauts massively. One of those Aquanauts, say that one there, the steel one. Yes. Yeah, How much is that right now? So right now it's around 70k, isn't it? For mm -hmm. a brand new piece. Whereas it's probably six or six to 12 months ago, probably 40 grand, 45 grand right. max. And okay. even now the non travel time is nearly touching that price as well. Right. It's near on 50k for a non chrono. And the spread between rows in steel you're probably talking around 15 grand between the two so 50k would be a non-travel time aquanaut this one's a travel time the non-chrono so a non-travel time aquanaut i would have probably a 5712 i love the 5711 blue but it's just very plain i feel like with the 5712 you get a little bit more free money then 300k 100 the 5990 rose okay new release with the blue dial my favorite watch out of everything so that would be my free. 50k well, could potentially get you into a pre owned 5712G. It's a good so, is that a precious metal watch? Yeah, yeah. so right. it was just going to get you into a white gold uh, 5712 on the strap for a use piece. So, that would probably be maybe my preferred choice for around 50k, 100k. I would potentially go with the Aquino, but the green, which is probably trading just above 100k, maybe 110 ish. Mm -hmm. That's okay. a solid watch. Very difficult to find as well, but it's always one when you have in stock, it sells pretty much straight away. I always get inquiries to try and locate that watch, but a lot of the times people, you know, they're, 
the expectations of what they're going to get the watch for, it doesn't really pay off. So for 300k I would maybe go with uh, Grand Complications, maybe something like this. In rubies, this is actually double sealed this watch, it's the 52, 5271p. It's because he thinks he's like Scott Fizzik now, so he thinks he would get the Grand Complication watch when really he'd probably just have like a 598 really good fool. Something like that is pretty much... P is for platinum as well, right? P is for yeah. platinum. Something like that is, you know, it's something to put in the safe. The double sealed tech watch. It's, it's, it's super, super rare and yeah, great one to, to own. And is that about 300 on the dot? Ish? Oh, yeah, 300 grand. Yeah. 300k for this. We'll have a plain baguette dial. That's probably one of my favourite watches as well, to be fair. I didn't even think to say that. Something like that on the wrist is just... Unreal. You could see Shoe in Saint Tropez smoking a cigar on a yacht somewhere with his Patek on. Yeah, it's sick. Sick watch. Really cool. Ballpark 220. 220, right? Yeah. Single seal. Is that also a platinum case? It's just yeah, yeah, so it's right? exactly the same watch, 5271p, but just with the, the baguette bezel. And when Patek make a, a watch with diamonds, you know, it's going to be super rare and super special. Mm -hmm. They don't tend to use diamonds and, and ruby sapphire so much on their, on their pieces, but but when they do, it's a, it's a Pacific watch. It's a super rare investment watch, nine times out of 10. It's all speculation, yeah, but speculation. I think the, the 5980 in rose gold could potentially go. Okay. Gone up significantly recently, recently within the last 12, 18, 24 months. But, but yeah, the 5980 rose gold, I wouldn't class it as a sleeper because it is a hyped up expensive piece. Situation. It's gone up in value quite a little bit now. The ladies are, are, really, on are really, really hot. We're getting lots of buy and sell requests for mainly the Nautiluses, but also the new range of Aquanauts, mm -hmm. which are super hot in rose gold and steel, with diamonds, without diamonds, green dials, there's lots of different variations. Straight from the off, you know, the, the market price has been significantly higher than the actual retail price and the trading for you know, big, big amounts over retail. So uh, that, that white one there with the diamonds and the bed, that, is that, that's an Aquanaut one, is it? Yeah, yeah so, so that's an old style. style. Yeah, okay. old style. We actually sold the new style today. So it's a little so, bit- So, because one, you have two at the show, yeah, yeah. one was slightly bigger, one was slightly smaller. Yeah, so the new one's got this slightly bigger case, whereas right. this has got the smaller case, I think it's 30, is it 33 mil? 33. Yeah, 33 mil, with yeah. the factory diamond bezel. Ladies probably a year or two ago was fetching retail price, if not under retail price, and now but you see a market. Massively. Is, so, of the fun. three pieces that you've got on the table there, yeah, you've got the the Nautilus, the 24, and the Aquanaut. Are they all slightly above list now? So this is the 24. This trades for around list. So okay. this is probably not one of the more uh, in demand pieces. But it's, it, it is a new piece, that though. Yeah, it? this is this is this is a brand new model. It's um, with the green dial, with the diamonds. It's a lovely watch. But just compared to something like the the 7118, which is the ladies' Nautilus. This watch is in such demand, it's got different variations of the dial. It also comes in rose gold, and uh, this specific one with the grey dial and the, with the diamond bezel. Trades for around 50, low 50, something like that. But you know, these watches sell fast, they're in high, high demand, and you know, for, uh, there's a lot of what there's a lot of ladies wearing expensive watches these days, and you know, it's a 50 50k for a ladies' Patek. Interrupt the Patek market update for it's more important. The drip delivery. Yeah, drip. Right, what what we got there? I'm treating myself since the Instagram's back. You know, it's been a rough, been a rough two months. So, so these are the what are they? Jordan One Royal. Royal clothes. The deal maker's gone royal. You know, fresh. Deal maker's gone royal. <laughs> we'll send you the invoice for that as well. We'll send you the invoice. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Hello, mate. You okay. Hi, mate. Josh, is it? Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. I'm from Manchester. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hello. Nice, nice to meet you, to Josh. Meet you. Take a seat. So you're looking for his and his. Yeah, please. Yeah, two we're watches. Looking, yeah. Um, what sort of budget and what kind of style? Well, I, I like are you some looking money. For? I'm not really going to wear mine, so I want it as an investment piece mm -hmm. if I can. 10, 12 grand. So you don't necessarily want like a his and hers as in matching watches. Well, you want. To a he ladies knows anyway. I'll probably yeah. wear them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so the thing with ladies watches. It's it, the male watches are more of an investment piece. Yeah, whether the ladies will wear and enjoy them, you'll never sell it. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. you buy what you like, and 
Yeah. In the years to come, it, yeah. yeah. They'll either whole money or it'll go up in yeah. very yeah. small amounts. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But with, yeah. whereas if the gents watches, they do tend to go up yeah. in value. Well, I watch watching the web. I'm not really a computer user, mm-hmm. to tell the truth, but I've been following you and uh, you're on your YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And your hair's, your hair's straight today. It was yeah. out of place. Yeah, the hair's in one place today. <laughs> right, so are you looking for a bar metal or would you like a steel? I'd seen two on your website, yeah. uh, I think one's 12, 11, 750, there's a couple I'd seen. So we've got a 41mm for 12, 750, so that's the new model, that's the brand new one. Right. And then we've got like a 2013 pre-owned, which is slightly less, and a non-date version, which is 11, 250, but if you're going to go for a Samarina, I would yeah. suggest probably getting a Samarina date. Yeah, the date. Just because like the, date, the yeah. price difference in between them, you'll always get back, but it's just, yeah. it's a better model as a... Yeah. Probably as an investment, I'd say go for the date. Mm-hmm. Um, or you've got a GMT also, which is slightly older, but it is a discontinued watch. Right, is that the is that got box and papers? Box and papers, yes. Yeah. So I'll grab I'll grab these out. And in yeah. terms of ladies' watches, have you seen anything that you like? No of size or anything like that. Not really. Yeah. yeah, I don't like the really ladies' watches, but then like I don't like the mass. I want mid, like and I don't like yeah. 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 I don't like when they were wearing the big men's ones. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. These are the men's sizes, yeah. 41mm, and you've got 36s all here. If you want to try something like that, so that's a 36mm. So that's yeah. not the smallest, not the biggest, but yeah, right in between. Yeah, that's the size I yeah. like. So that's right in between, yeah. so... Because a lot of the ladies now aren't wearing 26 mm That's an oyster bracelet. Oyster, bracelet. oyster yeah. steel and gold, they're just 36 They went to... Um, yeah. They all went to the big men's, but... Yeah. Mm. This is the perfect size, 36mm, yeah, if you don't like want to go too size. big. Yeah, that's the perfect size that yeah. I was looking for. Mm-hmm. See, I like this watch with that strap. Mm-hmm. If you know what I mean. Yeah, that. So it'd be that watch and that strap. I can show. I can show you the exact watch, but we would just swap this bracelet for that one because yeah. that one doesn't have paperwork. Yeah. Um, so this is the watch here. So you see, it's got the conceal class as well. Right. So it's, okay. It, it wears a lot better than than the oyster do. and the new style because yeah, this, the links are very small. Let so you can see. you can literally wear this every day and you'll you'll see minimal use on it. Because realistically, you're probably going to wear it every day. Yeah, I, I prefer this <laughs> yeah. strap. That's nicer that one. I like the, con- the idea of this concealed. Yeah, yeah. concealed. So they brought it out. So the new style is this. So it's got the big. Oh, yeah, the big class oh, a lot yeah. of people don't like that a lot of people like the conceal yeah which i prefer as well on a 36 yeah one. i think i do to be fair it's a lot smarter so this is a 2017 with box and papers it's up for 8750 but it can be 8500 but we'll brace the top it so technically you're getting like we would charge probably 9250 right. if that if this watch was on that jubilee right. okay so you can take for 85 with the bracelet swap so included 8, yeah so that's yeah. complete set everything with it box and papers and it's obviously a factory champagne diamond dial yeah i like that i like the champagne it's really nice the ties are nice the i just uh, the pill is nice but i just mm, yeah. it's just something about it you've had a shoe you've been in three hours <laughs> well, I, I know what I like. Spend money in here. It's, it's very I it's... know, but I knew what I liked. I knew what strap I liked. Yeah. Like. So uh, we're just going to brace the top this. So yeah, that's, that's a 2017 fine. watch. That's fine. I'll get that done now that you can have a look. Here's most of our steels. So sub date, sub and non date. So you see mm-hmm. with the date. Yeah, I want the date, yeah. And that's a GMT just eating a bit. So very similar, but obviously the main difference yeah, is obviously the bezel and the dual yeah. times. They're discontinued as well. Yeah, discontinued. See, so I like them. I like them made to submarine, but... It's a long-term investment, yeah. but I something like submarine is just oh, I classic. Prefer... It'll always rise in price yeah. I over I do time. prefer that one mm. than that one. If you did want to wear it, you can wear it pretty much most days you want. It's very durable as well, because it's not polished center links. So if you look at this one, it's polished center links. Oh, so yeah. it wears a lot. Harder than I, something like You this. see more marks, yeah. don't you? Whereas that's just the brush all the way through. So it's yeah. So that's brand new, still mm-hmm. with stickers. Ignore like the yeah. patching. That's just the stickers. So that's brand new. So that's the new model that only came out last year. They discontinued the forty mil, and that's the brand new model with the new movement, I new case. I prefer that though. They've made it. That's up for twelve seven fifty. That can be twelve. 250 for brand new sticker so i know you want it as an investment so if you're not going to wear it having a stickered watch is is even better than just having it yeah. is, is, is better than having just a watch with no stickers mm-hmm. because it shows that it's brand brand, brand new. new 
And if you wanted to wear it, it doesn't matter. It's got bark or everything. You could keep them stickers on. If you're just going to wear it occasionally, yeah. you, could, you could always just keep them on. Well, it would just be like if we went to a special oh, event yeah, yeah. or... I think... Um, I don't think I'd wear it. I'd yeah. just keep it in but no, I'm not like you. So I'll push that. You want to that yeah. I'm not... That's nice, that. That's um, just, I think that's just the right size. Yeah. What do you think of the watch? I've looked on the other yeah, thing. Yeah, it stands out. It never, that when it you're never, it never dates either. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's just a piece, classic yeah. watch. Even the same with the Steel and Gold Ladies watch as well. It's just like a classic Rolex. Yeah, that's stage, what I wanted. Running. The classic. Yeah. Yeah. For example, the the older Prince Ramek ones are like seventy eight grand. Yeah. Now. So the the, yeah. the older model to this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the older model to this is still doing seventy eight grand. So do you just do Rolex or do you do Omega? No, Rolex, yeah, everything. Have you got the new James Bond one? Like we can look at it, though. We can get whatever you want. Yeah. Can, can you get us a price on? Peter? Yeah, it's that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was yours? What was, what was, Mine's what, lovely. What was yours? Eight and a half, was it? Yeah. Yeah, so eight and a half, and that can be 12, 250. That's a sticker, so... The price is the price that you're getting is a very good price, but we can charge a little bit more because that piece is fully stickered. Right, so you've got so this is that is the exact watch there. Yeah. That, that oh, doesn't need anything so nice. off it at all, does it? No, so I'm gonna show you quickly. So you with the glide lock, so if you pull down yeah. like that, push all the way in. Ah yeah. And right. click. So if you try that now, so that's like the equivalent of probably is it a full link carry or not? It's like more, that. I think it's I think eight it's, millimeters. Yeah, I'm gonna set it to the middle so it'll always be yeah, perfect yeah. for you. Yeah. So could you do them to a twenty-five or what twenty thousand five hundred? Mm -hmm. It's it's too much. It's too yeah. much off. Six. Because that watch, we yeah, as I said, I with the bracelet, yeah. list price is way more. So mm -hmm. I'd sell that for nine two fifty. You're taking for two fifty less with the better bracelet. Mm -hmm. uh, your watch, you've got five hundred quid off it, right. and it's fully stickered. So investment wise, you, you're getting them like so. We we sell these watches for twelve seven fifty mm -hmm. with no stickers. Yeah. With stickers, you're adding five hundred quid onto the watch because. Yeah you know it's completely unworn and well, it's seeming as an investment so basically what happens is i don't know if you so in the ad's from rolex they'll always peel the stickers off yeah. it's probably one in every hundred watches they that might peel. slip through that they don't peel the watches right. off so why do, why do they do like that? that why do they to stop people getting more money for them right. reselling them ah. so it's kind of it's not right. a massive difference to us we probably we obviously pay more for a sticker watch yeah but the, it's to, the, stop it's to try and, and stop them it from on. doing it because you know what it's like supply and demand with everything like yeah. with a stickered watch the, the, the AD knows if they sell that on it's going to be worth yeah. 500 a grand more than one yeah. without so they try and do everything they can yeah. to try and so, which is wrong really because it's like it's their watch is brand new but that's just what they do yeah. they used to actually keep the warranty card for a year two years ago they used to keep the warranty card to try and really stop people from reselling them and then only give it you when yeah, you because then you're more tempted yeah, to wear months, it yeah, yeah. 12 months they, they would give you it so that was a headache for us so we had to buy the watches and hold Without like them. yeah so hold so did you hold a thousand pound no so we sold the stock but we just sold it at a price where the customer the new customer is happy and, right. and he understands that he's getting the card in 12 months right. so it was a massive headache i think they went through like a lawsuit or something and then someone sued mm. them and it's like getting no log book with your car yeah. that's what it was like you know what i mean so <laughs> it's absolutely crazy and this is your warranty car so you need to keep this safe because this is the difference between like 1500 and 2000 right. so this is full set so just as i say just keep everything together and you're going to get an invoice as well so if you want to add it onto your house insurance or th marsh is yeah. a good one that a lot of our customers use just to get them insured if you wanted them insured okay.